Windsurf just changed the game when it comes to pricing of these AI tools, in part probably due to the increased interest from OpenAI and the latest new dev models that they've released which give access to unlimited context. Let's dive into what they've just announced and talk about AI pricing in general and what it might mean for the future when it comes to pricing. Now, if you didn't already know, Windsurf is a coding IDE which focuses primarily on AI as the main source of input. Now, Windsurf introduced this idea of the cascade, which is a prompt-based coding strategy, which you might be familiar with the Copilot side of things and not to be confused with Microsoft's Copilot, which is kind of dead in the water when it comes to writing, uh, using AI to write code. Copiloting would be kind of an autocomplete. So, if, I mean, so you've got basic code completion here and it's gonna take into context your, the page or the code that you've already written throughout the project and various things like that. That's copiloting. Cascade is basically a prompt based coding, a way of coding where you literally type out exactly what you want in human language, human natural language, and then you write prompt after prompt to get the code that you want. They kind of, really they were the pioneers of this, they introduced this sorts of thing, and then Cursor came along and introduced their own version. I'm a Cursor user, um, which they could just call it the agent here and they entered their cells into this vibe coding landscape. So bringing it all right back, the announcement here is not only are 4.1 and 04 mini gonna be free, and you saw that just now inside of Windsurf, free limited time. I have a sneaking suspicion that these are going to become free inside of Windsurf. Maybe there's an acquisition on the horizon, who knows? But ultimately they are free, they're gonna to continue to be free for another week. Also what they've announced is we've removed flow action credit. Basically what they're doing is they're only gonna charge you for your initial prompt. And then anything onwards from that point is free. I think this is due to the huge context window that OpenAI announced with uh, 4.1 Mini, 4.1 Nano and all that lot. It's, it's like a 1 million token context window, which is huge. And I think this really goes to show that they're going hard on not only the pricing of, the, of these AI models, but also, again, the context and availability, probably brought along by DeepSeek, to be honest. Even though DeepSeek isn't necessarily the best AI, they certainly kicked everyone's ass into gear when it came to pricing. Windsurf is $15 a month and you get 500 prompt credits a month. Now, again, your initial prompt will just take up one credit and then anything onwards from that point is not gonna consume any other credit. So this is, it doesn't sound a lot, but it is gonna take you far. It's gonna warn you when you hit that context window, uh, which will be just pro probably very, very hard to actually reach, and then you'll create a new window and then that will consume a new prompt or in a separate project, various things like that. And you can see also you can purchase additional 250 credits for that $10. So it's a really simple pricing. If we go to Cursor and look at their pricing, uh, their, uh, their $20 a month is unlimited uh, of the slow um, uh, completions. Oh no, this is the unlimited slow completions here. Their, their, their requests, this is in the agent mode. Completions is the uh, the co-pilot mode, unlimited versions of those, but they give you five fast completions per month. And these are gonna be the uh, Sonnet 3.5, which is mostly what you're gonna be using. They do give you access to GPT 4.1, maybe not Nano, but really it's tuned to work well with um, Cursor. I've not actually hit this limit. So this is still, it, we shouldn't underestimate that this is a limit to be sniffed at. So this, this will last a, a lot of people depending on your code base and all the rest of it. But it will be interesting to see how Cursor responds to this because th they are kind of held back a little bit by Anthropic. Anthropic is notoriously a premium that costs a lot per request. It really does. And Cursor's kind of hands are tied a little bit. And we've not seen a lot of collaboration between... Cursor kind of just took it off their own back to support Anthropic. 
There might be some discussions happening behind the scenes, certainly now after this announcement from Windsurf, but it would be interesting to see if Cursor respond in such a way where they're able to bring down the price, because again, if we go to Windsurf, can we save on annual? Yeah, so it's just for just for the month. So it's just for the month. But to get it even remotely close, Cursor, you have to pay for the year to get it. It's still more expensive even for the yearly thing. So you get the flexibility and you get it cheaper from Windsurf. So this leaves a lot of the landscape kind of open at the moment. We're definitely seeing an alliance between OpenAI and Windsurf and Cursor and Claude. I'm going to be honest, I'm a bit of an OpenAI fanboy. Traditionally, I would go to Cursor or Anthropic for my coding challenges, but you can see this push by OpenAI into the coding landscape at affordable prices. All that to be said, I might be tempted to be more team Windsor, to be honest. Let me know what tool you use and why. I do want to be discovering more kind of code IDEs. What do you think about this whole race? Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks to everyone here who subscribed to me on Patreon. They really help the channel out a lot, as do you for watching and liking and subscribing. And until next time, have a good one.